Hi, this is Ron Rowland from Money Markets TV. Now is a rough time for stock market bulls, and being a bear isn't much easier. Record daily volatility makes it tough to go either way. I've found that sector rotation offers much more opportunity than market timing. That's because broad indexes like the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrials are averages. That means they include the bad as well as the good. Sector specific indexes can go both ways as well. But most of the time, at least one sector shows upside potential. The challenge is identifying these trends. Recently, I've noticed some signs of life in technology. It's still early, and I'm not ready to jump in and buy just yet. Yet, I think we should keep our eyes on the tech ETFs. Take a look at this chart of Spider Technology. This ETF is based on a capitalization weighted index, including all the technology components of the S&P 500. In the last week, XLK broke above its 200 day moving average. Chart watchers regard this as one of the classic long term uptrend signals. Also note the horizontal resistance line right around the $27 level. XLK couldn't break above that point despite three valiant attempts this year. Now it's trying again. No journey is without its side trips, and tech's recent upward path took a detour this week. Meanwhile, you have time to start preparing your watch list of high potential tech ETFs. Here are some ideas to consider. First Trust NASDAQ CEA Smartphone Index Fund holds a portfolio of stocks from the fast growing mobile computing business. If you have an iPhone or Android device, you know there are now far more than just phones. This ETF sounds like a good concept, but it still isn't getting much love from investors, which brings up a good point. A new tech gadget can be a hit with consumers, but an ETF focusing on it won't necessarily succeed. Be sure to use a limit order if you buy or sell this one. First Trust ISE Cloud Computing Index Fund offers entry into cloud computing. That involves the movement of application software from desktop computers to centralized servers. Etrax 2X Long Cloud Computing ETN offers two times leverage exposure to the same index. And that word long in the name makes me think an inverse version might be coming. Etrax Internet IPO ETN is, despite the name, not dedicated to initial public offerings. You'll never experience that first day pop of an IPO by owning this ETN. The portfolio of U.S. listed internet stocks cannot own them prior to their listings. The underlying index does, however, allow for adding new stocks within a few weeks of the initial offerings. The same sponsor also offers souped up exposure to this group with Etrax monthly 2x leveraged internet IPO ETN. Etrax is a unit of UBS, by the way. They also just launched two ETNs based on the ISE Solid State Drive Index. Etrax ISE Solid State Drive Index ETN and Etrax Monthly 2X Leveraged ISE Solid State Drive Index ETN are not pure plays on this industry. All holdings are involved in the flash memory chips used in many smartphone and tablet devices, but they do other things as well. The underlying index consists of only 11 stocks. Finally, I'm glad to see some new alternatives combining emerging markets and technology. Two are dedicated specifically to tech stocks from China, while the other includes China as well as other emerging markets. These are worth a look. As I said, we don't yet know if technology will be able to keep up its recent leadership. The prospects do look encouraging though, and these new ETFs give you several ways to get involved. I'm Ron Rowland. Thanks for watching Money and Markets TV.